Okay, my YouTube family and friends. Miss Mary's in the kitchen today. And today I'm going to, I am going to be just, I, it was just a spur of the moment, guys, that I decided to invite you in the kitchen with me. Um, so the upstairs was already seasoned in the freezer and I started cooking already. I started cooking it already and I already mixed up the batter for the, for the fritters. I already mix it up guys so <laughs> hey little Jay thank you thank you thank you the first one here right <laughs> I didn't plan this guys I, it was just a spur of the moment so the oxtails actually started cooking already so you're just going to see me putting in hey Joshua welcome Joshua happy Hey Tots, nice to see you. So guys, so as I said, it wasn't planned. It was just like the last minute I said, why not invite you guys in the kitchen with me today? So the oxtails is already like cooking, been cooking. I'm going to be adding the garlic, the tomatoes. Remember to squeeze the seeds from your tomatoes. The weather is great so far. Spring is in the air. And I'm going to add the onions. So um so as i said the cooking had started already when i decided to just go live guys and invite you in the kitchen with me so right now i'm gonna add the seasoning to the oxtails i'm gonna make sure you can see the pot i'm gonna add the seasoning to the oxtails and then i'm going to be doing the fritters so if you can notice the oxtails are bubbling thank you the little j drop the links drop the links the oxtails are bubbling and i'm adding the onion the garlic and just added that to it Oh, have to learn to manage the cameras better. Good morning, guys, and welcome. So I just added that, and as I said, and I'm just going to turn the fire low and let it simmer. Oxtails have to be properly cooked. When you eat into your oxtails, you should not be fighting the meat on the bones. It should be easy. All right, so I turn it down and low, guys, so that it could just stay there and simmer in its juices. Um, and now, why am I looking up here? I need you to see in the pot now that I'm going to do the fritters <laughs> right so here is a pot for the fritters and today it's curried fritters guys and as I said I did not plan this at all I was just going to I woke up and I was doing something and after I showered and everything I decided to to get something to eat so I have my fruit still on the table I didn't start eating my fruits yet I still have my orange my banana my pineapple <laughs> and a tangerine that I was going to have um but then I decided I wanted to do some fritters and so I am going to let the oil heat and then I will do the fritters. All right, so welcome everyone. Welcome to the live stream. Again, Miss Bev is in the kitchen. Today I am doing oxtails 
And again, the oxtails, as I said, nothing was planned. Um, can you see the pot over there? Right, so this is the oxtails. I just added the onion, the garlic, the tomatoes. I already put powdered garlic in it and some Jamaican seasoning. <laughs> it's from, is it Maggie? It's Maggie. It's some seasoning from Maggie. And um, the seasoning is Maggie seasoning. I don't know when, it's, no, it's Easy Spice. This one is Easy Spice. So I added this to the oxtails, some garlic powder, and then I added, um, wait a minute, is that Hawaii little J? It says Caribbean, girl. It says Caribbean. It's spring. I feel good. It's a good day. The sun is out. Yesterday was beautiful. I was out in the sun yesterday, the warmth of the sunlight just on your face. It was good. So this is not Hawaii. It's a little bit of Caribbean. Actually, um, Christopher and Cherie, Cherie, they went to Puerto Rico and this, they brought me this back from Puerto Rico, actually. So... <laughs> well, good afternoon. Hey, Paulette, nice to see you. Oh, okay, okay, little Jay. No, I'm in Connecticut. And I'm sorry. Yeah, good afternoon. I just want every day to be morning, right? But um, so I had the oxtail out, I put it on, it started cooking. And after a while, I was talking to my sister. And this is the greatest thing, guys. When you have good relationships, I was talking to my sister this morning. She they are up in Maine. My niece is up in Maine and they drove up on Monday to visit her. So she had reached out and asked me if I wanted to come. But it was so last minute, I said, ah, and I slept in late. So they're up in Maine and doing their, their stuff up there. Um, thank you, Joshua. <laughs> oh my God, you're humbling me, Joshua. Thank you. <laughs> and so as they, this morning, I, I reach out, I'm telling them, have a safe ride back, because I thought they were coming back today. But no, they said, no, it's tomorrow they're coming back. And after I finished talking to my sister, I left the phone in there, went to do some stuff, put on my little face, and said, you know what, let me go live, talk to my MBP family. Thanks to all of you who have joined. Um, <laughs> and... Thank you, somebody from, I think, is it Germany? Or is it the Philippines? Thank you for joining. Mwah. And I looked at my phone and I had a notification. Do you know my sister put $100 in my account? $100. I don't know how many in Jamaica or around the world are still superstitious that this hand has an M in it. If you look at the formation, it has an M, right? You see, whenever this hand scratches me, and this was from a child, my grandmother would say that, like, she would say, Lord, my hand has scratched me. I who going to send money, come give me. I'm sure enough, by the end of the day, she gets money. So I have grown with that super, that, <laughs> that same myth. And whenever this hand itches, I always connected it to getting funds. And it never mm -hmm. fails. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> because yesterday my hand was itching. I said, uh, I'm not getting any money until, you know, whenever and what have you. And it's a mortgage time. Everybody's paying their mortgage. Everybody's busy to what they're doing. But yet this morning, my sister, my sister did send me $100. So welcome to everyone in the chat. Welcome, welcome. It is a blessing, little Jay. Yes. Oh, it's Russia. Good afternoon, Erin. Welcome in. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining. So Miss Bev is doing oxtails today. Um, I just added the onion, the garlic, and the tomatoes. They're cooking down. Remember to squeeze the seeds from your tomatoes. And I'm going to be doing some, some fritters. Let me turn the camera around. Fire is high. Let me lower it down. 
So I'm going to be doing some fritters in this mixture. I have some curry powder with the flour, this codfish, some black pepper, and I actually dropped a little hot pepper sauce in it to give it some, some little a bite to it. So let's see what we're doing here now. So I'm hoping that all is well wherever you are. I know that Maurice Kingpin's grandmother passed away. So guys, lift them up in prayer. Um, she was, she was, you know, old age. So just lift them up with prayer, condolences to the family. I know that it's never easy to take care of people once, you know, it's not an easy thing when people get to be a certain age. Um, when people are a certain age, it's not easy. It's um, to get up, make sure they bathe, make sure. When my grandmother, she died at 96 years old and I remember going home to visit her because I heard that she wasn't able to, she was acknowledging people anymore. But at 96, she lived, you know, she lived. Very kind woman, always there for others, and she lived. And um, I remember I left some funds for my aunt. I said, you know what, you need to get somebody to come in to help you bathe her and, you know, just get her, in the, get her up in the morning, bathe her off, make sure she's clean and comfortable. And at night before she goes to bed, get somebody to come in and help. And she kind of thought that she could do it. So I guess she took the funds and then realized that it was a tough, tough go you know she couldn't manage it and so i know that um when we have to take care of those people around us guys remember if you can't manage don't sit and struggle by yourselves get seek the help of the church it's good to be part of a church and it's good for the church to be there for those in the communities when things when when they're needed to just support so please remember Lift them up in prayer and, um, you know, life happens, but death is sure no matter who we are, no matter how rich we are or how poor we are, death is a sure thing. That's the only thing we are sure of. And so let us just lift them up in prayer. So, yes, yeah, so these are curried fritters with, cod, with saltfish or codfish for those who don't know what saltfish is. Um, now we're getting so many people from different countries. So salted fish is the same as your salted cod fish. And you want to give it some heat. Um, you just mix everything. Don't mix it too tight. It has to be loose enough. So you're dropping them. We call them dropping them. So when you put them in, they're flat. They're not, they're not big and you know, they're flat. And, um, right, M-A-U-R-I-C, Maurice. Remember, he used to be on the channel, then things change. He has to work two jobs or, you know, and he's a father and a husband. And so things, things you know, it, it becomes a little bit more stressful. My counter is so busy. <laughs> the paper plates. I bought paper plates and they were the very, very small ones. So you couldn't, when you're cutting up things, I had to get some big ones, so the countertop is busy, but it's all good. There's stuff that we use every day. Um, so that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. So I'm making these curried, curry added to the flour, to the batter. Some onions, also added onions this time. And that's how it is. So it's great to see you guys. I'm just praying that all is well where you are. And that you know that God is providing your needs and um is opening doors for you we want these to be golden brown and sometimes you're gonna have great days and sometimes the days won't be so great but it, it's it's all good just appreciate them just the same um remember don't just when the days are good then you give thanks and you're happy but when things are not so good you forget you know always be thankful so those are the fritters frying. 
Thanks for dropping the links, Liquor J Place. Thank you for coming in, Erin, Joshua, all of you who came in, Paulette, everyone who stopped by. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the new people who have been joining and supporting. I notice now when I go live that I'm getting a lot of quick views. Um, I appreciate them. Um, I know a lot of the, the language sometimes is a problem because it seems that people are not jumping on from different countries now. And I, I'm just hoping you can convert what I'm saying to your language or something I'm doing. You might see it. Unfortunately, I didn't start from scratch with everything because, as I said, it wasn't a planned live. It was just a spontaneous thing. So I'm hoping that you still got some benefits from it. <sighs> so yeah, let them fry down in a softer fire, not a loud fire. A big fire just burns them quickly, makes them brown, but they're not cooked inside. So we want to always make sure that once we heat up our oil, um, we turn the fires down. When we're cooking our oxtails, once you fry them or brown them and then you add the waters to them and make them cook down in the end that juice you don't want to add anything you want it to just finish cooking in its own juice when you curry chicken again once you put the chicken in the pot and cover it it's going to create its own juice just lower the flames guy lower it way down to low and just don't rush it let it cook in its own juices it tastes much better then when you keep adding water to it, adding water to it, then it just waters it down. Just allow your food to take its time and bubble in its own juice. So thanks to those who have joined. Thank you so much for your love and your blessings. Thank you, thank you for your support. Remember, guys, go over to Little J Place. She has Essence of Mercy and Grace. Go over there, guys, and feel uplifted, feel motivated. I need to get on there to... um. I need to get over there to, to leave comments because I'm reading, but I'm not getting a chance to leave the comments and to like them. But I will sit and make time. See how nice and brown they are. They're not burnt. They're just brown. You see that, guys? So that's what you want your fritters to look like. Nice and brown. Not burnt. Hey, Darha. Hey, my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm making fritters today, Dara. These are curried fritters. And again, Dara, Dara, Dara. These, again, the salted fish is codfish. So we, you saw Bev Brown making fritters. Um, she added a little sugar. I don't do sugar in mine. I just do the codfish. Today, I added onions, the codfish, a drop of... Um, hot pepper sauce in it to give it a little bite to it um i added some onions as i said all right oh like sarah darha sarah dar darha okay sarah Dara. All right. <laughs> Thank you for that, my dear. Thank you so, so much. I mean, as, like as a teacher, you know, like kids come in and they have different names and yeah, they have to tell the teacher because you're looking at it one way and but they know and so they pronounce it. They tell you how it sounds. Thank you so much, Dara. Dara. Right. So these have the curry in it and no sugar. And I am making them golden brown. You don't want them too dark. Because you want them to cook inside. Yeah. So welcome, welcome, welcome. And again, let me just show you in the oxtail pot. Um, in the oxtails, I did... You want to make sure that your meat is nice and soft when you are working with it. And you want to make sure 
that it is sea bag. So that's the upstairs and that's how that is. And we see that this, yes, Tuts, thank you so much. It's so great to see you out and about, Tuts. I'm so thankful to have you guys back. You never left. Once in a while you'd watch a video, but I'm so happy to see you more often now. Thank you. So yeah. So one thing is missing right now. I needed to have the paper towel. You can add, you could drop them yours on a paper towel just to make sure the oil to make sure that the oil, you know, it takes a lot of oil in it when you're frying it. And I like to use olive oil a lot, but this, so I just wanted to do this with you guys today. And those are fritters. Yeah, and they taste good too, because I added that little bit of pepper to it so we're going to all right all the tables are busy i'm just gonna cover them for now and i'll just sit for a minute So, one of the things that has been on my mind this morning, um, I'm just going to go until about another eight more minutes. So here's my orange, it was already peeled. I have a stangerine. <laughs> Love my fruits, I have a banana. And I have, we peeled, we peeled the pineapple, we put them in Ziploc bags so that we, we don't lose them. So I have two slices left, I don't want them to go bad. So I'm going to finish these two slices today. But that should have been breakfast, guys. I don't know what time it is, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know what time it is, but I didn't have breakfast yet. But I've been working on mostly that one big meal and then have some tea in the night or some fruit. But um, I needed to have these fruits um, for the day. So one of the things... What did you say, Joshua? What did you erase there? Oh, thanks, Joshua. So one of the things that, that is in my mind, as I was doing the tomatoes. Oh, very good, Joshua. That is good, too. As I was doing the tomatoes, I am squeezing out the seeds, and my mind just keeps going back to Granny. And I'm thinking about the arthritis. I have arthritis in my back. I did go to the doctor on Friday and last Friday just to get a checkup. And I was telling him about the, the pain in my back. You know, sometimes it, they're good days, sometimes they're bad days with this thing. But I keep thinking of Granny that cause he was saying he's going to have to recommend me to some, to, you know. But I keep saying from the time they diagnosed me with this thing on my to lumbar two and lumbar four. They saw, we did the, the MRI, we saw that there was arthritis there, right? And I've said, I'm not taking anything, I don't want to go anywhere. Because in my head, I said, Granny had arthritis. My mother's mom had arthritis in her hand. I remember morning she, my, my mom's mother would say, look at my thumb. Her thumb would be like, she couldn't, you know, she needed support. Hey, thank you, Dara. <laughs> um, and and they never took anything. They never, they just lived with it. When there were good days, they enjoyed it. My grandmother, my mom's mother, never missed a Sabbath in church. 
She was always there. Um, and for granny that I grew up with, and I would hear her say, Lord, the arthritis, arthritis, you know, the knee, it was in her knee. Sometimes her, her right knee would have been, would been swells up, you know, inflamed. But granny just kept going. I've never seen granny take a Panadol or any kind of medication unless granny got something happened. She went to the, to the doctor and they give her some medicine to take. Once that series of medicine is done, that was it. Granny was up and about. She never ate rice. Um, but everything else, she had her food. They planted their food and they ate. And, and, and I said, nowadays, it's like everybody needs to make a dollar. And so everything becomes, here is a quick fix for it. I never see Granny sit down and not go do her little farming, cut down bush, plant carrot, plant corn, plant, reap gungo, reap pimento, shell, and, you know, very busy every day. It didn't impede her. But now today you have arthritis and the first thing they put in your head is that it can cripple you. It can, and those key words, it can. It makes you right away just feel like, oh my God, and you give up right away. And so I said, what is the difference? How is it that back then, my grandmother, as I said, she lived to be 96. My mother's mother died at 85. So these were people with these things that lived long, long, productive lives. And, and, and I keep saying, is it because when you hear the negatives, it does something in your brain and make you feel like, oh, you have to do that surgery. Oh, yeah, I have to take that pill even though it's going to mess up my kidney. I take the blood work every three months to make sure that the kidneys are still working. Oh yeah, I know, I know, but I have to take. I know comfort is one of the things that people would say, but I want to feel comfortable. I want to not have to deal with the pain. But I don't know, guys. I'm just, you know. I believe that, you know, um, my niece, when I was down there the other day, I my back bothered me one one single time. I felt like and it, some discomfort, and it didn't last long. Unlike here, we like for like a whole day. I'm just like, oh my back, my poor back, my back, you know. But down there, I I think it makes sense that I should, I should, I should come stay next door to you <laughs> so i'll have company to get up and walk and and get things done get fruits from the tree hey my sister hi there welcome in it seems that like this is a time of day for you sis <laughs> yeah but those are the things that i i think about that you know back then they go through it but you didn't you didn't hear so much, you know, the, 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 you didn't see the medications, you didn't hear the, all the things. Once they find out that they, they have it, they just lived with it and live long, long, long lives. So I am like weighing things, like looking at the whole big pictures and, you know, and looking to see what the solutions are going to become. Because as you all know, um, I'm no longer in the classroom, I'm home. Um, and so it's giving me time to just, you know, my daughter says, you know, I could go home, I could do some, I could do some tutoring, I could do some. My daughter says, no, mommy, if you go home, you're going home to relax. You're done with working. You worked so many years. <laughs> but I don't know if I can do that. I would want to go home, but I still want to do my t-shirts and 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 be active in church. I'd want to volunteer and I want to do stuff like that though. I don't want to just go home and, and chill. I want to go home and be productive, you know, like maybe tutor some children, you know. Um I don't know. But we'll see what happens. Welcome in, UK. Welcome in. Guys, remember go over to Little J Plays and support her. Remember Life with Bev Brown, our manager for the Blessing Soup Kitchen. You saw the video where she went down. Funds were sent down this week, last week. And um, 
So she was able to go down and pick up food for the soup kitchen. You see the meals that she's putting out for those who are in need. You see, Mr. Stewart, he's one of the recipients. He's not, you know, mentally, he has some struggles there, but he's able to come and enjoy his food and then help to deliver the food. And that's what I like. Um, for Mr. Stewart, we included, we included in the budget that he'll get something that when he needs to go to the clinic each month, that we pay for his car fare because they're not working. So that's part of the budget that I'm working with and now. So again, thanks to all of you who have been supporting in prayers, in contributions, in love, respect, everything. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you um, for just embracing this little soup kitchen as we cook and feed those who are in need. As I said, we cannot do full seven days per week um but even if we are doing it if when we give them three days meal we hope eventually once Beth Brown gets her food handlers permit because of the holidays last week with the easter and all of that she didn't go yet she's going this week to get that done then we're gonna see food for the poor if they will help us so that we can hand out some even we can cook even four days or five days for them. We don't know yet. Um, Cause the more that we add on to it, is the more <laughs> expensive it becomes. But if this help us with some food, then we'll be able to just do a little bit more. So we're going on, guys, and and you know, as I said, Lady K from the UK. God bless you. God bless you. And I say, as a young person, up and coming, so many young people they would rather buy a Gucci purse or a or an, another red bottom shoe but you didn't do that you the, the 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 soup kitchen was the project that you chose to donate your funds to so i ask god for a special blessing for you for good health and prosperity and you and that you'll continue to be humble and so that you know christ god will lift you up he says when when we're humble he lift us up when we're arrogant, then he takes us down. So thanks to all of you. So go over and support Bev Brown's channel. Go over and support Little J Plays. As I said, I know that um, Little J Plays, she's playing a game and it, the channel is growing and, I'm, and, and I don't have a problem going over and supporting her. Again, I said, just go drop your little subscription, guys. You don't have to put the bell for every notification, but give her the subscription and help her to grow. Um, those of us who don't mind going over and, 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 and give a thumbs up, guys, when you pass by, you know, give a thumbs up and we'll go over and watch the video and comment on the videos. <laughs> Again, we said life is made up of all different things. And so, you know, we're not going to like all these different things. But, you know, we can support the people who create these different things. Um, again, Jamaica K Lifestyle, go and support her. Sheree Marie, she's still doing her um, beneficiaries information you need to know. Um, because when people pass away, we know that if they don't leave the right beneficiaries in place, um, we know that it can be chaotic. Um, so she has a lot of good information. She has been doing webinars. So go over and support her YouTube channel. It's Sheree Marie. Um, so just show some love guys. Just show some love to everybody who is, you know, they're picking up the cameras and they're doing something, you know, as I said, on the 21st of the month, I got my little check. It used to be 127. I notice now it's $135. So guys, it will it 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 is useful. So let us support one another. Each one helps one. And 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 so that we can grow. Um so that we can grow. You know, just just help. It's not costing us anything. So let's just help out each other. And we have Joshua. Um he has a channel Joshua Gabriel. He does artwork Go over and support Joshua, young Joshua. He does his videos and, and he's trying. So let us go over and support them, guys. Everyone, every one of us need, need, need each other, you know. 
because we weren't made as islands, so we shouldn't be standing alone. And you know, everybody as a brother, everybody as a friend, we can be friendly to everyone and, and support them where they are. So I don't know if we have any questions. Yesterday I talked about I spoke about the dwarf trees and, and I was reading <laughs> I was reading Little J Play's um, comments and, and Ernestine's comments and I was cracking up because Ernestine, yes, I would love an orchard like with the dwarf trees that I can have access to all of those fruits when it's time. But, um, and, and then Little J, it's true. You know, I started looking at even in the guinea tree. Sometimes when we read the, the big bunches at the bottom and you look up in the top, then you have some little thing up there with one on it or two, but all the way up in the top of this big tree and they just sit there and dry up. Um, the star up a tree, we know that the star uppers don't fall down, they don't fall off the tree. So nine out of 10 times, they just sit up there, you're looking at these nice sweet fruit and they just go to waste because the trees are so big. And orange trees, well, the, 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 the things on them, maca, we call them maca. <laughs> We know sometimes it's difficult to get to those nice juicy ones unless you get your hook stick and pull them down or your or your crotch stick or you can put up and turn them but they drop and they burst so yes if they're lower you can have access to them it's easy to 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 reap but that was something that i thought of when i saw the little trees so little and they were loaded down to the ground with the june plums and 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 the coconut tree oh my god Almost on the ground, you could just go pick a coconut, cut it, and enjoy it. So that was that, guys. Um, so today, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I will say, as always, remember, put keep your hands in the hands of that man who stills the waters and who, does, who calms the sea. Right, he calms the sea. He's... Um, just keep your hands in his and remember that when you have your conversations, just like you're talking to me, just talk to him. Don't start thinking that I don't know how to because I'm not an eloquent speaker. I don't, just like you talk to me is how you go and you talk to him. You don't have to find a spot to kneel down and get you standing there by your kitchen sink. Talk to him. You're going, you're sitting on the toilet seat, talk to him. Wherever you are, don't feel like you need a special spot. Just talk to him. Because when you talk to him, it, 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 it relieves some of the stress in you because by in faith you're saying, you know what, I trust him and I know that he will open a door for me. He'll make a way for me. He will always provide for me. So talk to him in faith. And trust that he will help you to make things better. And when things become better, don't look for the whole big enchilada. Just look for that little tuna. Just look for the little thing and be grateful. And if you manage that little thing well, he's going to open up and continue to, 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 to prosper you more and more. But it's just sometimes we're so greedy, we don't see the little because we're looking too much for the big that we probably can't even manage. So guys, just go forth with love and peace in your heart and and, and just, just give back to each other. I said a positive word, it's priceless. For your children, always blessing them and create those bonds with them because let me tell you something, guys. It's not every day we're going to be in our prime and we, we, we are independent. The days are going to come when we're going to need those little children around us. And when we were good with them, they're going to be good with you. You know, so make sure you, you're, you're supporting guys, you know. Your children have kids, don't say, mm, I never send out, they go have them. So, you know, you go figure, no, take a moment to breathe before you say those bad words. Your kids are growing up. And believe me, they will remember. So always try to speak well and do well and, and treat people well so that it comes right back to us. All right, so oxtails should be almost done. I lowered the flame very low. The fritters, I have a couple more to make. But thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. Thank you, thank you. 
And just make sure that whatever you do and whatever you say and whatever you even think, that it is positive and beautiful and seasoned with love. Go in grace, guys. If it can't be good, be careful. Well, good, do good, live good. Mwah.